we work uh, is very much about the secondary user and the primary user, and how does the secondary user you know, um, use that spectrum when the primary is not present. But um, the reality is that there might be multiple secondary users that also need to worry not just about the primary, but, but about the other secondaries. Okay. So what approaches um, are used for, uh, to, to solve these problems? So I, I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the, the actual approaches that, um, that researchers uh, and developers use uh, to address these uh, radio resource management issues. Um, and I want to give a couple of examples on at least some of them. Um, ultimately, it's, a, it's an optimization problem, right? You have um, a set of resources that you need to allocate to, to various users um, or networks even. Um, and then you have some objective function that you want to optimize Often it's a multi-objective um, function, so you, you want to do several things at the same time. Um, and you have a set of constraints. You only have so much uh, spectrum, or you have to, max, to, to minimize um, the total power that's, that's transmitted um, to, to mitigate interference, and so on. So, or, or you have some interference temperature type of concept that you're trying to, to reach. So you have uh, objectives, things that you want to, to uh, resources that you want to allocate, objectives in the allocation of this resource constrained by a set of factors. This is an optimization problem. But there are different ways to set up an optimization problem. There's the, what I'm calling here, classical optimization. Um, but you see also the problem being expressed in terms of game theory. I know that Andrea has been um, making available this um, flyer about the, the game theory um, summer school uh, that's being organized by the cost IC0902 uh, this year. So there's a lot of interest in, in the research community of applying game theory, and I'll, I'll talk just a little bit about that. Um, there are heuristics that you often see um, used to, to solve these problems, or at least to kind of come up with a reasonable solution to the problems. There are meta heuristics and multi-objective approaches, and I'll go over each of them. Um, but at heart, it's set of parameters, set of objective functions, set of constraints. Now, these parameters can be a combination of various things, and they can act at the different layers of the protocol stack. So uh, this afternoon, I'll talk more about um, cognitive networks. But um, I do think that it's important to keep in mind that, uh, that cognitive radios really exist within a network. So they are not just a physical layer problem. There's not a single layer, a single link problem. They're, they're really a network-wide problem. So um, the parameters that you're trying to, to consider, allocate, um, you may be doing it at various layers in the protocol stack. So at the application layer, you may be looking at uh, the source coding rate for a certain sort of video, for instance, if you're talking about uh, video streaming, or the priority of a certain application over another. Um, at the network layer, you may have some sort of um, route um, preference um, or some cost metric, depending on how you deliver your, um, <coughs> your traffic or to which network you deliver your traffic. Uh, at the Mac layer, you may have the, um, the time that you can hold the channel for. Uh, you may, again, have some idea of priority in accessing the, the medium. At the physical layer, we may have all the, the typical physical parameters, the channel, coding rate, the transmit power, uh, the type of modulation that you, that you select, what frequency you operate at, and so on. Um, so those are the parameters. And then you have to define optimization goals. So what are you trying to ultimately achieve? You want to minimize, from the application point of view, you can um, want to minimize the distortion in the receipt of the application, again, video, for instance. Uh, you may want to minimize the delay, especially if you're talking about real-time applications. At the network level, you may want to min minimize the, the length of the route and the energy that you expend in delivering a packet from source to destination. Uh, at the Mac layer, you want to maximize the aggregate throughput of all of the users that are sharing the medium. Um, 
again, minimize the delay in, in gaining access to the medium. At the physical layer, you, you want to minimize the aggregate power, maximize throughput, maximize the data rate per uh, energy expended, um, minimize the bit error rate, and, and so on. And then all of that is constrained by a set of things. So at the application layer, maybe you have um, some strict delay requirements that are the main constraint. At the network layer, you may have a maximum number of hops that your traffic may traverse. At the Mac layer, you may have limited um, time slots that you want to, to share among the different uh, users. At the physical layer, there may be the maximum transmit power, um, the available modulation, types of modulation that you can support, um, available channel coding rates, etc. So these are the constraints. So again, in all of the examples of approaches that I'll uh, discuss here, um, Ultimately, the problem can be viewed as a set of parameters, set of optimization goals, and a set of constraints. <coughs> okay, so um, classical optimization uh, is nothing new, has been applied to a number of wireless problems, but you often see cognitive um, network problems being expressed as in terms of a classical optimization. So again, this is, this is old um, news for, for many of you, but in case um, you haven't looked at formal um, optimization problems, uh, they can be set up as follows. So you, you minimize some function, um, and that's a function of a vector of elements, so the z f of a vector x. Um, the same thing as maximizing, of course you can just maximize negative of f of x, and that's the same thing. Uh, and then you're, you subject uh, that, uh, that minimization or maximization problem to a set of constraints. So there are a set of equality constraints. In my example here, I have m different equality constraints, which is function h, um, so by of x, of vector x, is equal to 0. And then a set of r inequality constraints, um, g of x is less than or equal to 0. OK. Um, if you don't have this last thing, this x belongs to s, so forget this for now. Um, and if all of these functions are linear functions, then you're talking about um, linear programming problems, right? So these are uh, fairly well understood in terms of how uh, you solve. They can be solved um, in polynomial time, and it's, uh, they're, they're, they're nicer to deal with. Um, if these functions are nonlinear, then you're talking about nonlinear optimization problems. Um, and uh, if they're nonlinear but they're convex functions, then you're again in some fairly um, well known territory and, and it's fairly reasonable to, um, to find a solution. Now, if you have this additional constraint that x uh, belongs to, to some um, set S, um, then you're not, no longer necessarily in a pure linear or, or even nonlinear um, um, program problem. But um, if you, for instance, constrain uh, these values of X to, to be um, integers or to be within some subset of the integers, many times you, you constrain some of these values of X to be binary, uh, variables, then you are in a mixed um, integer linear program, for instance, if all of the other functions are linear, um, but you're constraining the values of x to be integers, or some subset thereof, then you have what's called sometimes a MILP, um, mixed integer linear program. So you want to structure this, uh, this optimization problem in a way uh, that it can be solved in reasonable amount of time with reasonable complexity. Um, now, it's if, if you're lucky, your, your optimization problem is linear and then every, everything is fine, um, you're much more likely to encounter yourself in something like a mixed integer linear program um, situation and then you're, you're facing um, reasonably high complexity to solve the problem in general. Um, problems with um, scalability and so on, and that's what makes some of the other things that we'll talk about later, the heuristics, the meta-heuristics, 
often used because you couldn't solve uh, these optimization problems in, in any reasonable amount of time. Well, here's an example. Um, you might have, um, again, parameters, objective functions, yeah, objective functions here and, and, and parameters there. So um, you may be given a set of source destination pairs um, in the network and associated rate requirements um, for these, the, this, these pairs of, um, um, of nodes. And you may try to find the optimal assignment of frequency bands to each pair of nodes. Um, and then within that, you may want to schedule the subbands used for transmission and reception. Um, you may be talking about an ad hoc network type of situation, so you may uh, also want to optimize the routing from source to destination. And you want to do all of that in a way that minimizes the total bandwidth used in the network. So this may be your objective in terms of the radio resource management. And then you have to translate this problem, the, the word problem, into uh, a mathematical formulation uh, of an optimization problem. So it may end up looking something like this. So this is, this is one problem that was um, posed early on um, by some colleagues of mine actually at Virginia Tech. Um, so this IEEE JSEC from 2008, uh, and they are trying to solve this type of problem. Ad hoc network, you have pairs of nodes that want to communicate, they have some targets, data rate, um, you need to schedule uh, the frequency in the entire network, you're dealing with multi-hop at the same time, and you want to do that in an efficient way. I'm not going to go over the, um, the parameters, I, I myself would have to remind myself of all of these parameters by looking at their paper. Um, and if you're, if you're interested, um, that's, that's the reference for the paper. But that gives you an idea of that structure of the problem, which is the one that I showed before. So a minimization function here, uh, which is just this very, very large sum, um, a set of um, equality constraints, a set of inequality constraints. These are inequality as well, or well, inequality. Uh, and then, hidden here, you have some constraints that make this a mixed uh, integer program because you are constraining some of these variables, uh, in this case x, so by j, to be um, a binary value, either a 0 or a 1. So now this is a, the integer uh, part of this, this program. Okay, um, this is actually a collaboration between people who are wireless networking people and some experts in <coughs> optimization. So Hanif Sherali is actually an industrial engineer and he's very, very uh, uh, well known in, in this area of optimization. So they joined forces to look at these problems. But it's, it's not hard to imagine that these things get very complex very fast and that you cannot always rely on classical optimization techniques to try to find the solution. So sometimes you have to, to apply some heuristics. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the heuristics in, in a moment. Um, let me also mention that there is a, a variant 